Hi everybody and welcome to our NeoLoan Monitoring presentation. So a NeoLoan Monitoring is going to help you monitor the state of your server infrastructure during a test and our performance counters actually allow you to rapidly correlate performance issues, set alert thresholds, and take advantage of automatic pre-selections for really easy analysis with absolutely no testing experience. So let's get started. So the NeoLoan Monitor is configured using a simple and efficient wizard. We're going to open that up and we're just going to indicate the machine to be monitored. And then we're going to choose the required monitors from this list below. So with NeoLoan, there's actually no need to install server-side agents. So we're just going to authenticate real quick and check our connection. NeoLoan is pretty much just going to make analysis easier and faster for you. The relevant counters are going to be selected automatically and alert thresholds are preset to identify problem areas. So we're just going to take a look here. As you can see, this counter has two alert thresholds. And you can keep them, you can change them, or you can make new ones. <laughs> so the icons are actually going to be different for those that have alert thresholds set for them, just so you're aware. But right now, we're going to start our load test. So we're just going to go and click play. Write in a little description and get started. So Neelode is going to be able to show you the number of alerts in real time. Right now there's only one. It's indicated by the yellow line across the top. We're going to take a deeper look in our runtime graphs tab. You can see that this yellow zone indicates a warning alert. We're just going to go right up here to our monitors tab to quickly check which thresholds have been exceeded. As you can see, you'll have the little alert icon, and we'll find exactly where the issue is. There's the warning alert. And we're actually going to click, drag, and drop that into a new graph so we can take a closer look. And the threshold is shown as the dotted line there, and obviously the alert would be triggered in this scenario. So as you can see, there are a few other alerts shown here. But what you're going to be able to do with NeoLoad is display them and analyze the situation while the test is running. So all of this is taking place in real time. We're just going to drag and drop those graphs and display them here. And then when a critical alert has been triggered, a red zone is going to appear on your graph. And that little icon will also appear. And we can also correlate the monitors with other data for a more detailed analysis. I'm going to go ahead and do that. So we're just going to take a deeper look at those alerts in our Runtime Alerts tab, where each one is going to be displayed in detail and in real time. And you'll also be able to monitor the severity as well. And you'll see what's going on during your test. So then at the end of the test, a summary is going to show the salient points. Now hotspots group together response times, errors, and alerts. And then we also have the alerts, which are counted by monitor type. And they're also detailed. So the first 10 alerts are displayed in chronological order to easily pinpoint the cause of the problem here. And then we'll go into graphs. The graphs tab actually allows you to take the analysis even further by correlating the data. So we'll pull in statistic, we'll choose average duration, and then the graph curve for the response times will be shown here. And as you can see, there are two distinct zones. In the first part, the response times are acceptable, but as you can see over time, they deteriorate. And you can use the graph templates and the alerts to find the cause of the deterioration. So we'll go up into our templates tab, we'll drag and drop. And here you can see the first critical alerts. And the red line represents an important feature of the Apache web server, the percentage of busy workers. And 
And as you can see here on the graph, 100% of busy workers are active, which means the web server is overloaded. And then you can correlate the data to find out if there's a relationship as well. So we'll go in back into our monitors, open up our alerts, and we'll correlate the data. So the web server's overload zone corresponds to the deterioration in response times. And then to improve the performance, the Apache server just needs to be optimized. And that's all we have for you today. Thank you for joining us. Please feel free to reach out if you have any other questions.